Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on July 23, 2020. China's first unmanned probe goes to Mars. On Thursday, China successfully launched an unmanned probe to Mars, marking its first independent mission to another planet. This move is showing country's technological prowess and ambition and its eagerness for global leadership in space. China's largest carrier rocket, the Long March 5Y4, blasted off with a probe from Wenchang Space Launch Center on the southern island of Hainan. The probe is expected to reach Mars in February, where it will attempt to deploy a rover to explore the planet for 90 days. If successful, China will become the first country to orbit, let and deploy a rover in its inaugural mission. Microsoft and a fiscal year with record figures. Microsoft Corp. finalized its fiscal year with the record figures, announcing huge quarterly revenue despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Microsoft unveiled earnings of $11.2 billion, or $1.46 per share, and revenue of $38 billion for the fourth fiscal quarter, while the analyst forecasted profit of $1.34 a share on sales of $36.54 billion. For the year, the tech giant posted earnings of $44.28 billion on sales of $143 billion, higher 13% and 14% respectively from the previous year's record performance. Meanwhile, Meanwhile, Microsoft shares added more than 34% so far this year, which has led the company's market capitalization higher than $1.6 trillion. Shares fluctuated between 2% and 3% lower in after-hours trading on Wednesday immediately after the report after closing at $211.75. Oil rises but U.S. inventories cap gains. Oil prices continued to climb on Thursday, but increase was limited by a surprise build in U.S. crude oil inventories. The sustainable rise in new coronavirus cases slowed the fuel demand recovery, capping the prices. Brent crude oil futures gained 0.2 percent to $44.36 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas intermediate crude contracts also added 0.2 percent to $41.98 a barrel. Prices traded a four-month high earlier in the week on hopeful news about a coronavirus vaccine. The Energy Information Administration reported that U.S. crude and distillate stocks grew unexpectedly amid sharp rise in coronavirus cases starts to hit U.S. consumption. Crude inventories increased by 4.9 million barrels in the week to July 17th to 536.6 million barrels, compared with expectations for a 2.1 million barrel drop. German consumer sentiment improves due to stimulus. Consumer confidence in Germany improved more than expected heading into August, driven by a temporary cut in value-added tax as part of the government's stimulus package to help the economy recover from the coronavirus crisis. The Consumer Sentiment Index, published by the GFK Institute and based on a survey of around 2,000 Germans, climbed to minus 0.3 heading into August from a revised minus 9.4 in the previous month. This was the third monthly increase in a row. The country's stimulus package includes a V VAT cut for regular goods to 16% from 19% and for food and some other goods to 5% from 7% from July 1st until December 31st. The reduction will cost the federal government up to 20 billion euros, 23.17 billion dollars.